Hey guys, welcome back. Well, it's Monday, so it's time for a brand new video, and today we're going to be doing a character animation video, one of many, I hope, but let me know in the comments. Now, as you can see, no video intro. I'm still pretty sick, but uh, that doesn't matter too much. Uh, that will sort itself out, hopefully. Uh, before we jump into today's video, just want to let you guys know that the Amish Tutorials Professional 3D Modeling Challenge Cut-off date is on the 15th at 12 midnight, uh, your local time zone. So don't miss that, all right? Well, that said, let's jump into today's video. Here we go. All right, guys. Well, it's been a while since I did any animation tutorial and uh, specifically regarding uh, characters. So I'm going to start by doing this one. And uh, as you can hear, I'm still uh, pretty sick, but luckily you cannot get a virus through a computer. Uh, anyway, uh, what we're going to do today is we're going to have uh, Mary here uh, hold an object and move around and the object will follow her hand around. That's kind of the idea here, right? So whether that is, for example, a ball or a sword or something else, uh, one key element here is to apply locators, and that's what we're going to do. But first, we're going to give Mary a, a little bit of a better pose here instead of the T pose. And I'll put a link uh, below so you can download this rig. It's a free rig. Uh, you just can't use it commercially, okay? So don't use it in your animation. All right, now, first of all, let's get rid of that T pose. So I'm just going to take this uh, shoulder joint here, hit E to rotate, and put that arm down a little bit. And we'll do the same at this end here. Just get in there and bring that down. And this uh, model or character has uh, an IK rig and an FK rig. And uh, I'll try to show you that. Right now, I'm just take, taking joint for joint. So first the shoulder, and then I can take the arm here and move that up like so. And then I'll take the wrist and rotate it like so. And I'm basically preparing her hand to hold an object. Tilt that up a little bit. But if I'm not mistaken, there is more in this rig. Looking at this little cube right here, if you click on that and you open up the attribute editor by hitting Control A, uh, let's see, I think it's, or is it the channel box? Okay, if you open up the channel box, up here it says FKIK. If you set that to zero, it is a, um, uh, FK uh, setup. If you change this to one and you hit enter, I can now actually take, for example, this wrist joint right here. And when I hit W to move it around, the whole arm will move like this. So kind of depending on what your preference is. Now, I personally think that an FK approach, so going from shoulder to elbow and so forth, gives you a lot more control. So that's why I'm not going to use that. So let's just go back here. And uh, let's see. And this guy right here, we'll set that back to zero. And there you go. Okay, so let's get back to her pose here. We don't want it to be too static. So we'll just uh, take this hit, uh, E to rotate that slightly. And I know it's not really part of the tutorial, but you know, just so it doesn't look that weird. Okay, and then we'll just maybe push that thumb in a little and push that in a little too and maybe bend those fingers a little bit so I'm just uh, selecting them let's see if I can get them from here all right and we'll just uh, curve that in a little and we'll do the same with these fingers here okay doesn't look as static okay all right, so we got that. Now, she's not really looking at her hand, but we can deal with that as well. And we're not gonna do any eye controls here, but just so it looks a little bit better. Okay, so let's say this is our starting pose, right? Maybe bend the knees just a little. Hit W. Not too much. Okay, so uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna put a ball in our hand, or maybe even better, let's do a stick. Let's do a ball. We'll do a ball. It's fine. Okay, so we're going to create a sphere here. We're going to pull that up. We're going to hit R to scale that up. And we'll see how big it needs to be. Jump to our top view. Hit 4 for wireframe mode. 
hit W, move it towards the hand, move it above the hand, F to frame, R to scale down a bit. That's about a right height. Uh, let's look at from this angle, and there we go. All right, so there you have it. Now, let's uh, position the hand in a way that it looks like she's actually holding it instead of holding that sure on a flat hand. So I'm just going to move it forward just a little. And then we're going to take this thumb joint here and we're going to hit E to rotate. And we're going to start to bring in that thumb. And then we'll take this joint. Bring it in some more. Take that joint and bring it in some more. Okay. Then we'll go in here and we'll take, um, I think we'll take these and just hold shift. So that's two and three and four. And then we're going to rotate that up as well to maybe a bit further, something like so. And then we'll go in and we'll take these finger joints like this and bring it in some more. And we might need to move the ball a little bit, but that's fine. So one, two, three, and four on the fingers. Okay. So now that we have that, we'll take the ball, we'll hit W, we'll move it forward a little bit. Okay. So this is what we got. Now, um, let's see. This looks a bit off. We don't want that, of course. I'm just going to bring that in a bit. And then that one, we're going to rotate that and bring that in. And it's not supposed to be a character animation tutorial, but just so it doesn't look weird, right? Okay, so this is our starting point. All right, now what we want is for her to move her arm and the ball follow along with it. So first let's animate the arm. Now we've got way too much frames going on here, so let's set up, let's say, 20 frames. So it should be enough. 20 and 20. And what we want to animate is her, her elbow. So if we select this guy, this is basically the movement that we want, right? So what we're going to do is we're going to make sure we're on frame 1. We're going to hit S to keyframe that, right? And then we're going to move forward to, let's say, frame 15. Move the arm to about there. And maybe even up a bit, you know, that's fine. And then we'll hit S again to keyframe that again. We'll jump back to frame one. Let's hit play. Okay, and the arm is moving. Now, if we want to um, move this ball along, we could do that by parenting the ball to that control on the elbow. Problem is though, in this case, it's a ball, but what if it's, let's say, the handle of a sword or something like that, right? Uh, if you parent it, then it will always be in the same position. Now, sometimes if you're holding, let's say, a broom or a sword or whatnot, you want the hand to be in different positions. So use a locator, okay? So in this case, what we're going to do is we're going to select this ball. We're going to go up here to create. We're going to go to locator. Now, the locator will be based on the center of our grid down here. I'm going to hit R to scale that up a little bit so we can see what's going on. Hit W to pull that up. And we're going to move that towards the center of our sphere here. Let me just have a look from the top. Okay, so that would be about here. Let's hit F to frame that in. And I'll just hold down V and snap it. From this point of view, let's make sure that we're good. Hit fourth wireframe mode. Hold down V and snap it, and there you go. So we now have um, this uh, locator in place, okay? Make sure we're on frame one, there you go. So what we're gonna do here is we're gonna uh, go into our outliner and we're gonna make sure that the locator is parented to the sphere, right? Now, the locator is the boss over the sphere. So in other words, you select the sphere first, you shift select the locator second, and you hit P to parent those two, okay? Now, then you need to consider who is the boss over the locator. Well, that would be uh, the elbow control in this case, right? So what we're going to do is we're going to select our uh, locator, and then we're going to shift select the elbow control, and we're going to hit P again. 
So now if you minimize this, jump to frame one, go in and play our animation, the ball should follow along. And as you can see, it does. Alrighty. Now let's uh, give that one more go. Uh, but in this case, what we're going to do is we're going to take, let's say, a stick or something. So I'm going to take the sphere, take the locator, get rid of that. Okay. Let's uh, find, I don't know, something like a cylinder. And let's hit R to scale that out. And then we'll hit E to rotate it and hold on J to snap it. It's of course way too big. Let's bring that down. W to move that out. Pull it out a bit. Scale it down a bit. Let's move that in there. Let's see where we're at. Okay, so this is basically the center of our stick right now. After frame, let's uh, bring that in here. And because of the position of our hand, we might need to rotate that a little. And I'm not going to go in and reposition all the fingers and everything because you know the idea, right? Okay. So let's say this is what we have, right? So what we're going to do is we're going to create a new locator. So we're going to go to uh, create locator. We're going to hit W. We're going to move that up. Move that out. Hit R to scale that a little bit. And then we're going to go in here and hit W to move it. And we're going to hold down V and we're going to try and get that in here. And then we're going to jump to this view. And that seems to be all right. So now we have basically the same setup, right? So let's see what happens here. We're going to go and take our stick. We're going to go to our outliner. We're going to shift select our locator. We're going to hit P to parent, right? And then we're going to select um, the uh, locator. And we're going to shift select to the elbow control and hit P to parent again. Okay. Let's uh, make sure we're on frame one. Let's play that animation again. Let's see what happens. Okay, you see the stick is moving along nicely. Now, the whole idea here is what if you have the hand in a different position because it's the handle of a sword or whatnot. Now, if you take just the stick and you hit W to move it, right? And I'll move it over here. And you know, again, I'm not gonna take too much time to uh, you know, get it all nice and everything. But you get the idea, right? So let's say the hand moved on the sword, locator still in the same place, and the locator is still uh, combined with the stick, right? So we're gonna jump to frame one, we're gonna hit play again. And as you can see, everything is still perfect. Well, that's it guys. That's all I wanted to share with you. Uh, hopefully you enjoyed this kind of thing. If you want to see me do more videos like this, please let me know and I'll happily do so, right? Well, thank you so much for watching and see you guys next time. Bye. Well, thanks for watching. And before you go, please hit that MH button to subscribe, okay? See you guys next time. Bye.